Oh, hi there. It's Dave from 1300 Need Solar. Uh, sorry about that. I was just uh, 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 keeping safe. You may wonder why I'm wearing a mask today. Well, I can tell you why I'm wearing a mask because Brisbane has gone back into lockdown. Now, it is only for dramatic effect. The reason I was wearing is, I don't know, because, because as you can see, there is literally no one in my office. I am all alone. There is no one here. So this is the reason I haven't shaved. Uh, if I'm honest, I haven't showered and um, I smell a little. Um, okay, so I, I thought it would be a good opportunity, rather than doing some actual work, to talk about a new panel we've bought out. This is a panel called Echo Delta. Now, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you will realize that looking at this brochure right now, you cannot see a damn thing. So um, we'll get Bill, a good mate Bill, a web developer, a marketing guy, super legend. Bill, can we put a, a link somewhere or a, or, or a link to our website or I don't know, however you work your, your little bit of magic. So anyway, I wanted to talk about this panel. This panel is what's called a shingle saw. So what is a shingle saw? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm very unpresentable today. Shingle saw. Shingle cell is individual little tiny cells lapped over each other. Now, what's the difference between a shingle cell and a traditional cell? Well, I'm glad you asked. I really appreciate the question. If you come in here, please don't look too closely in my office. It is rather disgusting. Um, but here we are with two traditional type of panels. Now, this is a, a full cell panel, signed by my good mates at uh, Matstone Racing name drop um so that is a full cell panel so that is if you see it it's very hard to do this backwards but if you see it it is a square cell it's a very traditional you see it on roost for you know for years and years and years took a couple of years ago we came out with um oh my mate dick johnson signed this one whatever um they come out with this this cell so this is a half cell now basically every manufacturer does this half cell it's almost two panels in one it deals with shade really well if you get shade on any part of this panel it tends to knock out the whole panel you get shade on this you get sort of shade here it'll still sort of work down here now this technology was something that was sort of bought out it was literally only a couple of years ago we really at at no stage are we talking about that all of a sudden boom everyone's doing it shingle cell however is something that came out sort of touched on a couple of years ago seraphim bought out a shingle cell panel i think they kind of disappeared back to seraphim land we love Seraphim though, by the way. Um, shingle cell panel. Now the good thing about it, if you notice the other panels, there's all these gaps around the cells. There's no gap here. There's only a little gap there, which makes more power production area. The other thing, if you notice the silver strips on a traditional solar panel, this doesn't have it. It's on the rear of the panel. They conduct the electricity. So basically what they do is the, the electrical um, current hits the panel and it sort of bounces around and it needs to go somewhere like a normal cable. It hits the, hits the, um, um, hits the wire and goes back down into the inverter and turned into you know, electricity. It's absolutely magical. So this is on the back. Anyone that knows anything about solar will know that, God, I'm moving around today. Um, anything that knows, any, anyone that knows anything about solar will know that shade is the enemy of solar. So basically, if you have shade, even in little aluminium strips, um, it causes issues with the power production. So these are more efficient. Now, the other great thing about this is, let's have a little look-see. Uh, where am I? 25 year build warranty, a 25 year build warranty. That one of the panels in there was a Seraphim blade panel. That's got a 15 year build warranty, which is quite high. What that basically means is, you know, this bit and the backing sheet and the cables and you know, the cells, they've all got a warranty for 15 years. Now the thing about solar power is the minimum warranty for power production, which is two warranties. There's a power production warranty and there is a build warranty, the minimum in Australia you have to have is 25 year build warranty, which means most solar panel manufacturers, manufacturer panels, and this is all the tier one manufacturers, that have a 12 year to 15 year build warranty. So what they're essentially saying is our stuff's going to fall apart in about 12, 15 years, but it's going to keep producing power for 25 years. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. It's fallen apart, but it'll still produce some power. Oh! Someone's ringing. Look, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, so the other thing is, uh, oh, apart from the 25 year warranty, which to be honest, very, very, very high end panels tend to have a 25 year warranty. Really? It's gonna keep going. 
Very, very high quality panels tend to have a 25 year warranty. And this is a very well priced panel. I don't know if you can see that. It's very well priced. It's probably half the price of, of probably most of the panels on the market that have a 25 year warranty is extremely good value. Now I go on sometimes in, in saying that 25 year warranty is a bit of a waste of time because the technology is obsolete, blah, blah, blah. And that's true, but there's a caveat there. It's true if you're paying $10,000 for a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system, it'll probably never pay itself off. But these panels are so much more affordable that you get the extra 10 years warranty to 12, 13 years warranty just as a peace of mind thing. Now, they may still be obsolete, the technology will change in, in that time, but the manufacturer is 